I really like Tuchel. He has a great energy. He's erudite. He's charismatic. He's good fun. Uh, but his moods change drastically with the wind or rather with results. He's, he can be very spiky, but that's part of the... the commitment that he has what was the spikiest he got with you um oh, um well what, do you remember Manchester United played uh, Paris Saint-Germain and there was the the questionable handball decision that yeah. and uh, Rash was involved Rashford, and yeah. Lukaku scored the penalty we had a debate afterwards about what the silhouette was and this he was angry kept the conversation going it wasn't storming out or anything like that it was it was it was good another time he gave me a rollicking on the touch line that was with an r if you're just checking in the uh, <laughs> studio there um uh, he just misheard something and uh, he just went off on them one so but he, he can do that but i think that's part of the energy he has he has it, let's put it this way it'll be a very different approach to gareth southgate because he has a sharp tongue in the dress room and in interviews but he is a compelling character, I think. But that energy that you talk about, it clearly transmits itself to the players. You can see him on the edge of the dugout, just living every moment. That can go too far. And I, 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 and I think that is why he hasn't stayed a very long time at certain clubs, those big clubs, because you can only do that as to a certain amount of times. But he it, tends not to fall out with players. I mean, a little bit. He tends to fall out with people upstairs. He tends to fall out with quite a few people really <laughs> but, uh, I think he lets people know what he wants and that's what you have to do in that kind of I mean situation. you would have been in the tunnel did, did, yeah. did, did, did you see him sort of not remonstrating but talking yes. in an animated fashion but to, to the officials fourth officials to, to everybody opposition. Really? everybody no he is a ball of electricity when it when it's all kicking off he's he's great at that it's great and that's why it's one of his greatest skills and that's one of his uh, uh the reasons why he's got the england job but, but you, can i yeah go on but no but you but you you would also have heard him instructing his players yes. tactically there's a very sort of scientific yeah. element to him because he's obviously an incredibly successful tactician he does put on a show i mean the best managers do it's part of their characteristic it's to, to become this uh three-dimensional person that to uh, Routes up and down the touchline, like Conte does the same thing as well. They do, they're putting on a show, and it's for the fans, it's for the players, it's for everyone to know that I'm in charge, and it's not going well, or it or it is going well. Did, did did you sense also that he was doing that when he spoke to you to send a message also to the players, mm. say something he couldn't necessarily say to them in the oh. heat of the moment, yeah. but actually he could make a point, and they would pick up on it when they. Yeah, he would he would talk to to through the microphone to spread a message yeah but they most managers do that as well yeah coming to the practicalities of this though Tuchel's been given an 18 month contract that that that's 18 month contract tell us something is it's it's not a great endorsement I think it's quite clever by the football association because they've been burnt before giving out longer contracts and then ultimately having to having have payoffs um it, it, what I find strange is that he's not doing the the, the two games next month because I, I understand it might be considered a hospital pass being having to go to Athens, Greece, good team. We saw that at Wembley. Do the FA want to, you know, his first game to be a difficult one? And then obviously the Republic of Ireland. So who's, who's decided that though, the FA or, or, or Thomas? Well, the, I mean, he, he, they both talked about it, Bullingham and, and Tuchel. And it, it, it seemed like a sort of mutual decision but I would have thought as you say it's 18 months you know the clock is ticking it's effectively two stretches of eight games qualification and then touch wood getting to the final out in um, out stateside and every second counts so why not spend those two extra training sessions or four extra training sessions two games time around the hotel time traveling getting to know the players better and some of the coverage has had a sort of GB News feel about it, and that's not a compliment. Uh, the, the Daily Mail bashed out an editorial declaring it was a dark day for for England. In fair to the Daily Mail, I mean, it was classic Daily Mail fashion. They yeah. have criticism and praise, of course. Which is, you know, when he wins the World Cup, they can they can they can rag out but the one who's I'm praising. Getting, I'm guessing what's on the back page. Yeah, I mean, it was. <laughs> it was a dark day for England. Yeah, I mean, I thought the story actually was uh, uh, Craig Hope's story in the mail about Eddie Howe not being approached. 
I found that very strange. I mean, if all our argument is Eddie Howe is the best qualified English coach to be considered, why wasn't he one of the ten that uh, Mark Bullen well, suggested they talk, spoke we'll come, to? We'll come back to the ten, I'm sure, at some yeah. point, because no one was quite sure who these ten, ten people yeah. are. <laughs> They're mysterious. So many people haven't been interviewed, inverted commas. But um, the, the, the problem with... with the situation is that, that he's it feels a little bit more toxic because it because he's german well that's the kind of underlying sort of uh, uh there's, there's if it had been jürgen klopp sitting there mm. everyone would have been saying this is an absolute master stroke well, by the football my, association my... and the last time i looked he's german he's got a german passport mm. I, so, I, so, you, so 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 what are you saying he's he's being i think it's a little bit unfair i mean yeah. if it, you know it's He's, he's German. I mean, you know, he's not going to sing the national anthem, and, and nor should he. But he's, is it he, English? I mean, the, the, spectators, the spectator said it was a, a humiliation. Is that right? I don't normally read it, but I was clicking through. <laughs> I, I think it's an indictment of the issues that uh, the Football Association have in their coaching pathway. I think it's definitely that. We will be talking about it. In a, in a little while so that's probably a good point to, to break on AM on DAB via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker TalkSport